Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I've got an incredible new piece, a new variant on the Shell Cordovan. This is the raw denim Shell Cordovan. But before we get to that, I wanted to give you a preview of some of the stuff we're shipping out today. We have a raw Shell Cordovan, Johnny the Fox, a new color number eight marbled box board, Bugs Moran. Also a brand new item, the Cobalt Blue Dublin Bugs Moran. A Cobalt Blue Dublin Fat Herbie. Natural Lancaster, Johnny the Fox. A natural shell cordovan with the reverse interior fat herbie. A natural chrome XL Bugs Moran. A garnet shell cordovan Bugs Moran. An ultraviolet with reverse interior Bugs Moran. Natural shell cordovan Frank the Enforcer. Color number eight chrome XL Tony the Ant. Color number eight chrome XL Johnny the Fox. A black Dublin Johnny the Fox. And a black shell cordovan Johnny the Fox. So welcome to the uh, Cordovan family here, the new raw denim. And this is very similar to the raw shell Cordovan. And here's a raw, raw shell piece to show you. So the raw shell Cordovan is the most natural raw state of the shell Cordovan. This is the first stage in the process of the tanning process that we can actually call it shell Cordovan. And you can see here on the raw shell that you're probably familiar with, it starts off very dull. Uh, more of like a matte finish. It does have a subtle sheen to it, but nothing near um, what the normal shells look like, which here's a normal natural shell piece. You can really see the luster on the normal shell cordovan. It's very much a mirror-like shine. But the raw shells, including this natural raw shell, is much more of a matte luster. And what I like most about the raw shell, the whole idea about it, was to, to experience patina. And this is a fat herbie I wore for a year in the same color natural raw shell. And this is what it looks like after a year. You can see the color is much deeper. It's much more golden in color, but it also has developed its own little luster. So it's a nice patina development on the raw shell cordovan. So the new raw denim is the same as this raw shell here, but we've applied what Horwing calls is a denim colored stain. And the denim color is this very vibrant, it's like a vivid blue. And it still has that same sort of uh, light luster. It's very much not shiny like a normal shell. You can see there it has this nice subtle sheen to it. But I'd say this is almost more of like a dull matte finish. And the cool thing about this one that I'm really excited about is to see how this wears in. Because I think this aqua blue color of that denim shell is super interesting. It's a very nice aqua blue. And then when it gets worn, I'm expecting that color to become a little bit more deep. So I'm expecting the surface color to become a little bit darker with the aqua color of the undertones remaining. And then I think the coolest part is gonna be that luster that we see, like on this uh, raw shelf Herbie I wore, how that's developed its own little shine to it. I think that's gonna be really, really interesting on this raw denim shell Cordovan. So this is coming up on the site. I'll be doing some special items in the coming weeks. And we have taken a couple of pre-orders. So look forward to seeing some raw denim uh, wallets coming your way in the next couple weeks. Coincidentally, there's a Johnny the Fox that is shipping out today in the raw shell cordovan. And check out how nice this piece is. There's something about the leathers and just every leather in general that I've seen is you don't really get a sense of the character until it's cut and perhaps sewn into a pattern piece. So when it's put into a wallet like this, it gives you a better chance to see what it looks like. So this raw shell Johnny the Fox here is going to change color. And it's gonna look much more like the fat herbie color here, and it's gonna develop that nice patina, the nice little shine to it as well. So this Johnny the Fox is going out today. Can't wait for you to have it. And I put up a last one of these Bugs Moran, and this is a special Bugs Moran that we did on our flash sales. I only made three of these. And this is a unique piece of shell as, as well. This is a marbled color eight shell cordovan piece, but this is marbled on top of a box board print. So I'm gonna insert a photo here of a little better close up of this texture because these highs and lows of color are really interesting and I'm noticing that it's difficult for me to capture that in the videos here. So I'll put that photo in here. I think this look is going to be really interesting to see maybe in some different colors on some footwear. So I'm excited to see what Horween does with this. This is a new box board marbled shell cordovan on the Bugs Moran. And speaking of Bugs Moran, I have a brand new color offering on our Bugs Moran. And check out this beautiful blue shade of this Bugs Moran. This is a cobalt blue Dublin on our Bugs Moran. The first time that we've offered these 
on the website. They're currently available. I only made two of them. Uh, so if you're into this um, and they sell out, just let me know and I'll make it for you. That's no problem at all. But I love the Cobalt Blue Dublin. We're starting to offer it on all of our wallets. This amazing aqua color, it's similar to the raw denim shell, where it's that brighter, more aqua blue on the undertones and a little bit more of like a navy dark blue color on the surface. Here's another Cobalt Blue item. And this is a Cobalt Blue Fat Herbie. And the Fat Herbie is the wallet that, that I prefer. It's sort of my first love for wallets. Again, with that Cobalt Blue Dublin, I just love the natural character in this leather. And you can see there, it has this really great grain character. And a lot of times when we put a color on a leather or even a black, it tends to cover up all the natural character of the leather itself. So that's why I strongly prefer the Dublin that Horween makes. In fact, most leathers that Horween makes are very much an aniline finish. So you get to experience all that natural character and still get a nice color. So here's another nice wallet for Patina. And this is our natural Lancaster, John of the Fox. This is the lightest color that Horry can make. It's almost white. It's got a little bit of orangey yellow to it, but it's a very light veg. And I've worn, I wore one of these in a Fat Herbie as well. For 100 days, the luster develops very nicely. Again, similar to the raw shell, it starts off kind of a matte finish, but the more it's worn, the brighter and shinier it becomes. Also, if you're into patina and you wear raw denim, this picks up a lot of denim staining from your raw denim, or in fact, any jeans. I've noticed the color easily crocks off onto this leather. So it gives it an interesting look in the corners and on the spine. So here's another natural color, but this is a natural Chrome XL on our Bugs Moran. And you might notice that the natural Chrome XL, even though there's no stain applied, it's much darker than the natural Lancaster or even a piece of natural shell. And you might ask, why is that? Well, the Chrome XL is tanned using a method called hot stuffing. And hot stuffing is where we take the leather and we pound in greases, waxes, and oils into the fibers of the leather in these steam heated mills. So the waxes and oils in the leather that are tanned in there are the darkness that you're seeing. So this is the lightest you'll ever see a piece of Chrome Excel. And people are really into this one. It's a sort of nice, natural, neutral color, more of like an earth tone without much vibrance to it at all. And I have a couple more Bugs Morans to show you today. This one is really special. This is an ultraviolet shell cordovan piece. Check out that vivid, vibrant purple color. It's almost a bit of pink in there as well at certain angles. But what I like most about this one is the interior. I really like these random dye marks on the inside of the Bugs Moran. I just think all of these bright, vibrant purple pink colors are very interesting, especially when you get to see them all randomized around on the inside here. There's a couple more of these available. I have them up on the flash sale page right now. So if you're into this one, they're up there uh, at a little bit of a discount. I have one more Bugs Moran to show you today. Check this one out. The team and I were just admiring this beautiful piece of garnet shell cordovan. And the garnet is the most red color of shell cordovan that Horween makes. This one looks like it has like a little bit of orange in it at certain angles as well. But man, this batch of garnet shells that we've made a few of our Johnny the Foxes from uh, and many of our other wallets, just the recent batch of garnet shells have been super, super nice. Has a really rich feel, great shiny luster, really nice color. And this is a beautiful Bugs Moran. And the Bugs Moran is our minimalist style, but perhaps even more minimalist is the Frank the Enforcer. And this is a Frank the Enforcer in natural shell cordovan. Frank the Enforcer has two card slots in the front with one on the back, and then this larger slot in the center. You can fit US dollars folded in half in there. This is an option that I suggest to front pocket minimalist type of guys. You don't want to carry too much stuff, but you want a nice uh, section of cards to sort of divide everything out keep it all organized, and the natural shell cordovan, man, that is nice. This develops a very nice patina as well, similar to the raw shell. I like the raw shell for the drama, just the, the, the amount of patina and the amount of change and development that happens from the raw shell uh, and how it's worn after a year is uh, just a little bit more dramatic from start to finish than on the natural shell. And here's another natural shell item that I pulled out a couple minutes ago. This is our Fat Herbie in natural shell cordovan. That is really cool. A little bit of orange in the uh, natural shell at certain angles. Kind of, and maybe a little bit more brown at this angle, but 
when you tilt it, it's very light in color. It's almost like a pale taupe color with a little vibrance to it. On the inside of this one, this is really cool. We have a reverse interior on this Fat Herbie. And I like the reverse interiors for how they age and wear. The shells themselves, when you have them on the cart holders on the inside, it actually will scuff and scratch it itself because the shells are microscopically abrasive. So when you have raised letters and numbers on your credit cards and it pushes that shell out and rubs against the other side of shell, kind of scuffs and scratches and those are challenging to reduce and remove. On the reverse shell, I find it much easier to fill in the scuffs and scratches on the reverse side, which is why I prefer it for the interiors of most of our wallets. So here's the little brother to the Fat Herbie. This is the Tony the, Tony the Ant in color number eight, Chrome XL. What a beautiful piece of color eight Chrome XL. Nice, deep, dark burgundy shade here. A little bit more red in the Chrome XL version of the color eight when compared to the Shell Cordovan. And here's another color number eight Chrome XL wallet. This is our Johnny the Fox, and this is a recent addition for us to our lineup. We haven't been offering the color eight Chrome XL Johnny the Foxes up until last month. So we've got a, a several of these going out today. I can't wait for you guys to have them. Thank you so much for supporting us. And I have two more Johnny the Foxes to show you that we're shipping out today. Check out this black Dublin. This one is so bright and shiny that I almost mistook it for Shell Cordovan, which is interesting because the Dublin leather is tanned using the tra same tree bark extracts as we tan uh, with the Shell Cordovan. So it's a similar character, but it's not that dense fiber layer that we see on the Shell. But man, check out the luster of this one. Very, very nice, this black Dublin. And we have a black horsehide interior on the inside of this John the Fox. I really like the stealth out look of black on the outside, black on the inside. All of the edges are black. All of the reverse sides of the leather are also black. I just think it's a really cool look. And let's compare this one to the black shell here. And this piece of black shell cordovan is remarkable. There's something about the black shells. It has this really cool sleekness to it. Where you can see there when the light reflects off of it, it just looks super cool. And for some reason, it's only the black that really gives me that vibe. Um, but comparing these two, they're both pretty shiny. I'd say the Dublin is slightly less bright, where the, the Shell Cordovan is supposed to be very much mirror-like. And they both feel pretty nice, pretty similar. Uh, so this is an interesting comparison here. I've actually never done this to compare these two blacks side to side. I'm also noticing on the Dublin, it might be hard to see on the camera here, but the Dublin is slightly more gray. And I think that's because the Dublin, although it is mill dyed and drum dyed black to get this black color, it's finished with a hard wax finish on the surface. And that wax can sometimes break a little white. So we're seeing a little bit of white on top of the black for the Dublin, which makes it just very, very slightly gray. Interesting comparison. Uh, selfishly for me, it's fun to look at these two side by side. So thanks for checking out everything in the video today, including this new raw denim shell cordovan and i'm really really excited about this the raw shell cordovan in general has been a dream of mine for about a decade and i had not thought to put color on it until skip horween wanted to try it out so we've got these brand new raw shell cordovan pieces in the denim color which is a more vivid vibrant bright blue when compared to the intense blue it's just a little bit more aqua a little lighter than the intense blue but man, I can't wait to see how these wallets wear out, wear in, in the raw denim. Thank you guys for checking it out. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be back again later with some more stuff.